Gavrado. And my name is Danilo Melissic. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with your student news. news. Fine Arts Weekend is this weekend, May 18th through the 20th. The Fine Arts Department will end the year with the Mariachi Band Performance, One X, and a band, and a choir concert on Sunday. Let's get more information from Mr. Carioto himself. So we're here with Mr. Carioto, and Mr. Carioto, just a quick question with Fine Arts Weekend approaching. What can we expect during the Fine Arts Weekend? Well, the Fine Arts Weekend is really a celebration of, of the Fine Arts Departments here at um, Bishop Knoll. So this is our third year that we've been doing this. It actually was something that uh, Mrs. Connolly had instituted years ago that was brought back. She came to me about three years ago and asked me if we could bring it back. So what we do is we feature each one of our Fine Arts Departments. So Friday evening, we uh, have a, um, a jazz band and a, um, and a mariachi uh, concert in the cafeteria uh, along with uh, a small talent show. We have students that will have volunteered to uh, do different types of things. We have Irish dancing. We've got some singers. And it's, it, it's just a fun night. And so what we do is we turn the cafeteria into like a little jazz club, turn off all the lights. I bring in stage lighting. We uh, set up little munchies and stuff on the tables. We put black cloths and candles. So it's a real fun night. And in conjunction with that, um, Mr. Mickey has an art gallery that he sets up in the front part of the cafeteria. It, it, it's like an art gallery you'd see downtown. So it's, it, it features all of his uh, art students. And then um, Saturday, is devoted to the theater department. And so uh, the one acts will take place from two to four uh, in the auditorium. And if you've never been to a one act uh, you know, event, it's really um, exciting because they're mainly all original um, um, uh, plays that the students have actually written and uh, have actually um, uh, put together. So it's really, you know, a fun afternoon um, to sort of see all the creativity. Probably the future Steven Spielbergs and uh, and so forth are you'll see on that stage. And then Sunday, which I call the uh, the Super Bowl of the weekend, <clears throat> is our uh, is our spring concert, which features our band and choir, but. Several new classes are being offered next year, inclu including computer science and introduction to engineering. In addition, seniors can have the option of taking a few classes at Calumet College of St. Joseph's for dual credit. Here's Ms. Arnold with more information. Hi, we're here with Ms. Arnold. And Ms. Arnold, we heard through various teachers, staff, and faculty members that there's going to be new classes implemented next year. So I wanted to get some thoughts on um, basically what new class will be added on to next year for future students. Okay, we will be adding um, an introduction to engineering class, which will build off the STEM class that we have now. So it's through Project Lead the Way. Um, it should be a great class for anyone who's interested in engineering, lots of problem solving, and they're going to explore the different types of engineering that there are. Um, we're also going to have introduction to computer science, which would be kind of a junior, senior level class. And um, that's going to be taught by Mr. Chikaraki, from what I understand. Um, and they'll look at programming and coding and things um, dealing with uh, computer science. Um, one other thing that's being added is that we will be offering uh, French dual credit classes. So that's something that Ms. Wilson has wanted to do for a while, and it's finally happening. Okay, then how will the classes work at Calumet College of St. Joseph's for the seniors or juniors that take college credit classes there? Okay, and that is a new opportunity as well. We're partnering with, partnering with Calumet College. Um, they would like to offer um, an economics, a dual credit e economics class. Um, that class would be from, I believe, like 1.30 until um, 3.15 or something like that. Uh, so students would actually leave the school here at Bishop Knoll and drive over to Cal College, which is in Whiting, not very far away, maybe seven or eight minutes away. Um, two days a week, they would take um, economics as dual credit, and then they would have to choose a class to pair that with for the other two days, and that would be either a visual arts class or a finite math class. And then on Fridays, they would just be here at Bishop Knoll to work on th things or, um, you know, get any assistance that they may need. Okay. This was Ms. Harlem. Thank you, Ms. Harlem. Two years of renovations, the Media Center is finally complete. The Media Center features individual study rooms, an interactive classroom, and plenty of lounging seating. Let's take a look at how the process for using the Media Center will work for the upcoming year. What are you doing? 
There will be graduation practice for the seniors on May 25th, right after the first final. That's it for this. Hello, my name is Jessica. And my name is Antonio, and here's your sports update. Both baseball and softball sectionals begin next week. Softball picked up two conference wins against Wheeler earlier this week. Congrats to Faith Jackson and Aris Harris for being sectional champs and moving on to regionals. Boys Varsity Golf Conference Tournament will take place Friday the 18th. Boys Varsity Track Sectionals took place yesterday. The Boys var Varsity Volleyball team finished up their season th this past week, finishing with a record of 13-11 to 11 and was ranked 18 in the state. Hi, I'm here with... Zachary. Giovanni. What position do you guys play? Uh, I play front middle. I also play front middle. What was your guys' favorite moment from this past season? Uh, my favorite moment is when I hit the ball and it smacked someone in the face really hard. My favorite moment has to be just and all of the long drives to tournaments way down in Indianapolis. It's just been a lot of fun on all those long days. What are you guys most looking forward to next year? Personally, I'm looking forward to having a bunch of seniors because this year we don't have any. I think we have one maybe. And all the juniors are going to be seniors next year, so that's going to be a great improvement. Uh, I'm also looking forward to just growth as a team because we have a lot of youth and we just got to get more experience and get better. Thank you. I'm Alondra. My name is Jamar Rice. And welcome to Challenge, Challenge Accepted. Sing Britney Spears song. <laughs> Ready? Go. Uh -oh. <coughs> Ain't that the Royals? <laughs> that, that's not Britney Spears. <laughs> that's not Britney Spears. That's a good song. Though. Name four cities that start with a D. Ready? Begin. Detroit. Say LOL ten times. Ready? That's it for this week's new 
and your news for the 2017-2018 school year. Bishop Knoll News will be back next August with a brand new news team. See you then.